Hi there, this is Dr. Heather Harrison. I'm a family physician at the Central Utah Clinic in Provo, and today we're talking about how to induce labor early. So there's no unmedical way to guarantee of inducing labor early. People talk about, you know, driving over railroad tracks, doing jumping jacks, doing curb walking, eating spicy food, Chinese food, anchovies. There's lots of things that people will say that you can do to make yourself have a baby, but in reality, a lot of times as you're getting to the end of pregnancy, your body's getting ready itself and there's no guarantee. The only guarantee is to actually go into the hospital, use medications that are FDA approved for an induction of labor. And even with those, sometimes it's not 100% guarantee you're going to have a baby a couple hours later. Sometimes it takes several hours for things to get going and maybe a day or two to get things progressing depending on how prepared your body is and your cervix as we head into an induction. Medications that we often use for induction, there's medications called um, Prepadil or Cervidil. Those are a prostaglandin medication that is a gel that we often use up by the cervix every six hours or so to help to ripen and soften the cervix and make it more amenable to an induction. Other medicines we may use is called Cytotec. That's another medication that helps to ripen and soften the cervix to get it prepared for an induction with medication like Pitocin. Pitocin mimics the natural hormone oxytocin, which encourages that uterus to start contracting regularly and strong enough to get that uterus to the point where the cervix is gonna start thinning out, dilating, and allowing that baby to move down into the pelvis and eventually then be born.